we are given a process isochoric adiabatic and isothermal where isothermal proceeds at minimum temperature so if you plot the process it's going to look like this so isothermal proceeds at minimum temperature and of course adiabatic line is sharper and second part isobaric adiabatic and isothermal so that is going to look like this so again isothermal is at the bottom with the minimum temperature and this is the adiabatic line this is the isobaric line so this is how we represent the processes we need to find the efficiency of each cycle if the absolute temperature varies n fold so if the temperature here is t the temperature here is going to be n times t now for efficiency like we have done in previous so many problems that will be 1 minus q2 by q1 and q2 for isothermal process is n not rt ln v2 by v1 and for isochoric q1 is this we want to find the ratio of v2 by v1 and what we know is t2 by t1 so for the adiabatic line we are going to use this equation to get the ratio of v2 by v1 so now that we have the ratio of v2 by v1 we'll just put the values 1 minus q2 by q1 and get our answer b part so again same thing q1 is here q2 is here so 1 minus q2 by q1 and this time we are going to write the isothermal heat as an r nrt ln p2 by p1 because calculating this ratio is going to be simpler than the ratio of these volumes so to find the ratio of p2 by p1 we'll take this adiabatic this adiabatic curve where we know that the ratio of temperatures so we'll find the ratio of pressures so that same pressure is here also so now for q2 we have this ratio so we know q2 and q1 is this so we'll get our answer